Well, one local business works to make the charcuterie board of your dreams without you having to do any of the work. How yeah. great does that it sound? It is true, and I've actually had one of these. So we want you to check out this week's Foodie Friday at the Modern Grace. Welcome back to another edition of Foodie Friday. Well, one new local business in Willard is offering charcuterie for breakfast, lunch, and even dinner. Let's go check out the Modern Grays. Megan Weiss Miller is no stranger to the charcuterie game. After growing up in an Italian Irish household, she said large family events started with charcuterie. So during the pandemic, she decided to turn a family tradition into a business. I started doing this out of my home and it was just a hobby at first and it kind of kicked off immediately and here I am now and my first brick and mortar. Megan prepared a small grazing box for the foodie team to enjoy, but based on the size of this box, it could easily feed a small family. The first thing that I place into the box is always the cheese because it's the most important yeah. piece of the box. The modern graze frequently changes their inventory for what customers want, but Asia Asiago, a double creamed brie, and a cinnamon cranberry goat cheese are crowd favorites. Next up to add to the box, an array of meats. I like putting the meats away from each other just so like your eye travels around the box and also the flavors of the meat, you know, kind of remain their own. Just like how Megan wants your eyes to take a journey, she also wants the food to stand out by adding a fan prosciutto, sliced hot capicola, and two peppered salami roses. We're gonna make a salami rose together. Okay. I tried my best when it came to the salami rose, but I would say there's room for improvement based on what I told Mike. Don't show the shot where it just moved. <laughs> Megan put me to work again by making me turn a kiwi into a star, literally. And after the salami rose, I was hesitant. It might not be as pretty, but yeah, it'll be fine. Practice makes perfect or something. And it does. Not too bad, a little jagged, but it's okay. It has character. It has, yeah, there we go, it has right? character. Yeah. <laughs> Megan gave me a break as she artfully placed strawberries, grapes, red pear slices, and melon in any sparse spots she could find. Then she topped it all with cranberries, hickory smoked almonds, and even a caramel cluster for dessert. I felt that the board was too pretty to eat, but foodie photog Mike was ready to feast. I also feel like charcuterie fills me up faster because I'm more, much more mentally engaged. He even deconstructed the rose I worked so hard on, but everything must have been good because he kept going back for more. Mm. Remember how I started off this foodie by saying you could even enjoy one of these boards for breakfast? Well. Megan made me try her Old Bay candied bacon that's a favorite on her brunch board. Like everything at the Modern Grays, it was out of this world. So we're ending our visit here on a sweet note. Yes. Mm-hmm. Add this to anything. Yeah. People will love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, Rob, she actually brought this into the newsroom. I don't know if you got to taste any I didn't. of it. I never do. It was delicious. <laughs> it was like, it was really good. And the like pickles on there were fantastic. I don't know what was in them. That, this place is very good. And you're going to have to try it next time. You, you snooze, you lose, Rob. I know. It's, it becomes a war zone when they bring <laughs> the food back. And it's like if you're not there within five minutes, it's all gone. So... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to visit, the Modern Grace is located at 36298 Old Ocean City Road in Willards. They have charcuterie boards ready to go along with boxes made to order. And if you go, be sure to tell them that you saw them on Foodie Friday. And if you have a place for the foodie team to check out, just email newsroom at WMDT.com.